In the next 162 seconds, I will show you how to create your first Docker image. To create an image, you need to have a Docker file first. If you do not know what a Docker file is or how everything from a Docker file to images and containers work, check out my Docker Basics video. The link is in the description below. First, you need to find your Docker file. It usually is at the root level of your application folder. After you navigate it to the folder, you can use Docker build, followed by a dot to build your image. The dot specifies the path to your build context. The build context is essentially the set of files and directories that Docker needs to build the image. And there we go. You have successfully created your first Docker image. If you stored the Docker file in a different directory or changed its name, you can pass the path to the Docker file via the dash dash file flag. For example, if I named it dockerfile.server, I would write this docker build dash dash file dockerfile.server dot. After creating the image, Docker will save them in its own local registry. This is the place where all your images are stored. To list all your local images, you can use the command docker image ls. You can see that Docker gives each image an ID. To keep better track of your images, you can name them yourself by using tags. The naming convention for a tag consists of three parts. The username, the repository name and the version. Let's create your first named image with the following command. Again, we use docker build for building the image, followed by our tag and the dot. To keep your registry clear and easy to read, you can update your version number when you make changes to your application. Or you can just name it Bob. Keep in mind, if you don't make any changes to your application, you would just create a pointer to your existing image with a new tag, like in our case, Bob. If you want to change the name of an image, for example, if it's non-descriptive and a bad named image, like Bob, you can always rename it by using its tag and the existing name. If we list our images again, we can see that Bob is gone. What the heck, Bob? Oh yeah, right, I forgot. If you rename images in Docker, it doesn't actually rename them. Instead, it slaps a new tag on the image and creates a new reference to the same image as before. So pop is starting to annoy me. Let's get rid of pop for good. We can use docker image rm followed by the image name to delete this tag. So in our case, it would look like this, docker image rm pop. This will only delete the pop reference, but not the actual image. If you want to delete the image as a whole, you need to delete all references first. And there we go, pop is history. Our Docker registry is cleaned up and you have learned how to create Docker images. Congratulations, now off you go, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on my next video on how to create a Docker container out of your image. See you in the next one.